It is Monday, Thursday, Holy Thursday. Monday, Thursday means the day of Christ's great commandment. And it was the commandment that he said, love one another. It is truly what we must do if we're going to follow God. We have to become vehicles of God's love and be willing to share that love with others. A joyful heart is like a sunshine of God's love, the hope of eternal happiness, the burning of the flame of God, and if we pray, we will become that sunshine of God's love in our home, in the place we work, and in the world at large. Mother Teresa. In Ruth 2, verse 20, the Bible says, He has not stopped showing his kindness to the living and the dead. Where can we find God's love? Everywhere. God's love, it transcends space and time. That's why Ruth says it is love to the living and to the dead. Now, some of you, I know from your prayer requests, have lost loved ones. And you wonder, what has happened to them? Here's what has happened to them. They're immersed in God's love. They're immersed in God's healing. They're immersed in a bliss, truly a heaven. God's love transcends space and time. It reaches beyond the heavens, and it touches the darkest, smallest corner of every human heart. When we sincerely open our minds and our hearts to God, God will fill them to overflowing with God's infinite love. Now you might wonder, does God need me? Yes, to be a vehicle for God's love where you are into your world. God has the marvelous ability to love us in the midst of our imperfections. And we must continue that. Loving others, not waiting for them to meet our long list of what we require, but simply to love. And if God can love us unconditionally. Surely we can find the wisdom and sometimes the courage to accept God's love. Sometimes people need that kind of courage. They need an opening. They feel that they're unworthy. My friend, God loves you just the way you are. God loves you with a love that can't even be defined by human mind. Today, thank God for God's never-ending kindness and welcome God's love into your heart. And when you do, God's transcendent love will surround you and transform you. It will fill you and, more important, overflow from you onto others in your world. God bless you. Happy Easter from all of us at Positive Christianity.